I'm sure most, if not all, all of you uh, know that Lance Armstrong got dicked uh, doping after I think it was seven Tour de France wins, um, six or seven, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Uh, my opinion, was he cheating? No. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it was a level playing field. Um, most of those guys were on it. Uh, most, if not all of them, are doping, especially at that time in the 90s and, and early 2000s. Um, I think everyone, pretty much everyone was on it. Everyone that was a contender, in my opinion, was on it. And uh, for, him to be, for him to be made an example like that, um, I don't think it's fair. I don't think the way he handled it um, and some of the some of the shitty things he did during that period, I don't agree with them. Um, he threatened people and um, caused a lot of problems with his uh, teammates, friends and, and uh, acquaintances and things like that. I don't agree with that at all, but um, I still think I still think he deserves the wins. Everyone's on the fucking juice. He was still just a better cyclist at the end of the day. He was a machine. And, uh, yeah, you know, some people think, oh, I can just get on, get on a bit of the dope and I'll be a machine straight away. No, you know, you can get on it, but you've still got to train your ass off and you've still got to be a damn good rider. And, uh, that's exactly what it was. Um, I'm not agreeing with doping or anything like that. I'd, I'd never do it myself. Um, I'm not on that kind of competitive level anyway, but uh, when you're at that level, Tour de France level of riding, um, unfortunately, it's pretty rife. And um, a lot of the times to win, you got to do it. And uh, it's sponsorship money, it's it's team pressure, it's it's sponsor pressure, it's all that kind of stuff. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of them don't have a choice. Um, I've just seen yesterday, I think it was, that uh, even Astana is under fire again for doping allegations and stuff like that. So. It's rife, they're just ahead of, usually ahead of the drug tests and USADA and things like that. Um, and uh, yeah, to make, to do what they've done to Lance Armstrong, I think it's not fair. I know they're trying to make an example of him to say, this is what we do to dopers when we bust them, but um, it's, it's not fair. Like I said, they're all on it, or most of them are on it. Anyone who's got a chance of winning, I think back then especially was on it. Um, and yeah, it's just, just the way it is. Um, people were saying if to, if they'll give if they were to give it to the if they to give the yellow jerseys the winners of the Tour de France if they were to give that to the next clean person, um, it'd be way down the line of standings, way down the line. So that just goes to show that most of them were on it. Um, that's my opinion, especially. Uh, but sorry, that's my opinion. But especially back then in the nineties, early two thousands, I think it's a lot cleaner now. Um, either that or they're just they're just ahead of the testers once again and they always are um, these riders these teams spend big money big money on doctors and drugs that can't be detected um, doctors give them advice um, and like I said they're usually always ahead up until a certain point where they then get busted um, unfortunately for Lance he returned in that last year and that's when he got busted if he didn't return, he probably would have got away scot-free. So even in an interview, I saw that he said he regrets coming back. So um, Lance won't say it outright. I've watched a few documentaries on him. He won't say it outright that he still deserved to win and um, everyone was on it. I don't think he wants to dob anyone in like that. But um, he does throw a few hints out there. Uh, I think Oprah asked him if you were cheating, if you consider it cheating. And he said uh, something along the lines of... Uh, he was still basically a better rider, and um, it was a level playing field. So, something like that. Don't quote me, but <clears throat> whatever he said to me just meant basically everyone's on it. I was still a better rider, and I won. In my opinion, is that's correct. You know, you are a better rider. He's a fucking machine. Um, EPO drugs, whatever or not. Um, he was still a crazy cyclist. As I said, I don't agree with what he used to do off the bike some of the time, threaten people, etc. But he did a lot of great things for cycling, started to live strong, um, helped a lot of cancer survivors and battlers. Um, so he did a lot of good things. And um, yeah, in a way I feel sorry for him. Um, he got busted, but yeah. Like I said, I still think he was a better rider and I don't think he deserves to be stripped of his uh, 
of his winnings. I know, again, I know it's a way to make an example of him. Um, and his sponsors are now acting like they never knew, which I think is bullshit. I think they know all along. And I saw the other day that, uh, who was it? I think it's USPS or uh, one of his sponsors is, sorry, no, it wasn't USPS. It was another sponsor um, that are threatening him, threatening, him, threatening him to take him to court again. I think it was for $10 million for lying to them about doping. But um, they were a sponsor or some sort of, I think they were a promoter or something like that. Um, they would have known at the time and they want their money back but you know what he gave them the, he gave them the promotion he did his job he did his job and uh, they're just trying to find a way to get some money back and in my opinion at the end of the day um, which is a bit of a dog act he gave them what they wanted same with all his sponsors he gave them what they wanted they got their promotion they probably got even more promotion than they wanted because of the whole <laughs> the whole scandal so my opinion. No, he wasn't cheating. It was a level playing field. He was just a better rider.